Now, Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum has locations all over the world, but they got one right here. That's right, right here in Nashville. The lifelike sculptures there feature many local icons. And I want to tell you something. Going there, it's like hobnobbing with the celebrities for real. Recently, I took a wonderful tour of this Music City attraction. Watch. Ah, oh, this is cool. Johnny Cash, pride of Arkansas, pride of Hendersonville, Tennessee. Wow. Welcome. Well, hi. How do you do, Governor? Kelly, how are you? Very well, thank you. Welcome to Madame Tussauds Nashville. Pretty pumped about being here. <laughs> this is exciting, and what a way to start. He's one of our faves. Well, I sure would hope so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited. You're going to take me on a tour and let me see Madame Tussauds? Nashville, the music Would wax love museum. To. Let's yeah. take a look at all these music figures. All righty, let's do all it. Right. And here we have WSM, our replica of the WSM radio station. George Jones, my gosh, there's no one like him. No. I love George Jones. There's never been a voice no, like that, like and George. never will be another one like that again. Oh my gosh. Our announcer, Keith Bilbrey, there's, you've got a figure of him. Well, he was inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame. 35 years, WSM announcer and Grand Ole Opry yeah. announcer. He knows everybody. I, I gotta see how real he looks. You know what, he, oh my gosh. Cause I think he looks better than the real one. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> it is you. <laughs> that is great. Uh, I, uh, then uh, somebody brought in a mop. Oh, wait for me! Yes, Hold yes. on! It's Grand Ole Opry. Keith's, uh, Keith spent a little bit of time here. Oh, man, a lot of old friends here. Waylon, Minnie Pearl, Kenny Rogers, and one of our favorites, Randy Travis, who's yeah. been on our show and on our stage. I love Randy. One of, the, one of the great voices in country music, isn't it? The real deal. Now, Kelly, this is a really cool place, and I say cool in the classic sense because it's the <laughs> jazz room, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Jazz club. It's oh. one of my favorite rooms and some of my favorite figures. Oh, yeah. How do you not love Louis Armstrong, huh? Well, what is, there's a, a difference in this room. It's like an aroma. Tell us about yeah. that. A little bit of sensory. We think this is what you would feel like and smell if you came into a jazz club. Uh -huh. So you get a little bit of tobacco, bourbon, yeah. maybe cheap men's clothes. Just like you would get at a Baptist church on Sunday morning, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> and Kelly, I think you guys call this the grand finale. Grand finale. It is. Wow. And well, this, this is, is cool. just a group of stars that hey, we Trisha. have. Quite a few stars. Mm -hmm. And the centerpiece, Reba McIntyre, one of a kind. What a lovely Love person one. and amazing talent. Oh, all kinds of talent. Mm. Carrie was looking straight at me when I came Pretty in. Pretty sure she wasn't. Well, it looked like she was. Huh? Kelly, this is such a cool place. Oh, so and a trip to Nashville, how could you do this without coming and seeing the actual figures of this the stars amazing. that we've grown up with and still love today. Thank you for letting us experience it. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know whether Keith or I had the best time, but we had a blast. <laughs> we had a, 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 right. We're so a, glad a large here. time. What a great time. Kelly Field was gracious enough to let us check out her place, so we had to bring her back to the studio, along with a couple of very special guests. Please welcome to our theater, the general manager of Madame Tussauds Nashville, Kelly Field. <laughs> welcome, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Kelly, we've had a big discussion. Is it pronounced Tussauds or Tussauds? Tussauds. Tussauds. The French leave off a couple letters at the end of each word. The French <laughs> leave off a lot of stuff, so it's not uncommon that they would do that. You brought with us how perfect that you would bring Elvis tonight. So I guess now we have 14 Elvises in the building. <laughs> yeah. Elvis did not leave the building no. tonight. No, he did. In the house. <laughs> and the beautiful Carrie Underwood. Yeah. You know, Governor, we are the world's famous, greatest wax museum. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of tell by the way that these wax figures are made. It takes anywhere from four to eight months to mm. make a figure. Wow. Yeah. It takes Keith that long just to get his makeup on for the show, <laughs> so that's not really... And he was a great wax figure. <laughs> we had such a great time. You know, I, I think if people are coming to Nashville, and so many people come here for just a destination, 
if they don't come to the Wax Museum, they're missing something. They are. We're a celebration of music. Well, and, and that's the thing. It's like getting to see all of your favorite musicians. And it's not just country artists. It crosses all the artists. whole genre, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And we're the only Madame Tussauds that is dedicated to one theme. And of course, being in Nashville, that theme would be music. Of course it is. How long have you been with the, uh, the museum? About five years. And do you ever go in there and start talking to these guys? Because you just are overwhelmed? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> it's good morning, Taylor. Good is to see you, Is there a doctor Don. in the house? Yeah. Kelly is really messed up. She's talking to wax figures now. True. <laughs> but it must be a fun place to work, to watch the, the joy of the visitors to the museum when they go and their eyes light up because it's the closest they're ever going to get to some of their favorite stars. Exactly. And they can get to all the A-list. And what is so great about it is music is, is a little bit nostalgia. It brings out that emotional feeling. You remember a lot of, of where you were doing or yeah. where you were when you heard a particular song. So. Now, there is talk that sometimes the actual celebrities yes. show up at the Wax Museum and the fans think they're looking at a wax figure <laughs> and the person starts moving. Not yeah. just Keith. Other people have done that. So, who has shown up and just surprised everybody? Oh, we've had some great fun. Um, Ozzy Osbourne was at the attraction <laughs> not too long ago. We had Darius Rucker last October. Wonderful. Um, I think someone sneezed and he said, bless you, oh. as a wax figure. <laughs> um, so that was great fun. And um, we've had Randy Travis, so one of our favorites uh, that comes in. And we've, uh, of course, had Keith Bilbrey that came, and he was... Pretty waxy. He was. Yeah. He made a good wax figure. Yeah, he doesn't make much of an announcer, but by golly, he's a good wax <laughs> figure. That's the thing about Keith. <laughs> well, actually, look at him over there. He's, he's got that pose. He's doing it. <laughs> he actually was amazing, and he is the best announcer on all of television. Yes, he is. We do love him. <laughs> well, I'll get it right this time, and I say Madame Tussauds is a must-see, and it really is a must-see with wax museums all over the world, but the one in Nashville is just very special. You can get some selfies up close with your favorite celebrities when you go. You might even see me there. Not, not as a wax figure. No, I'm just gonna be hanging around, uh, <laughs> meeting those folks myself. Learn more about Madame Tussauds. Visit Huckabee.tv for all the links and do not even think about coming to Nashville if you're not already going to plan on going to Madame Tussauds.